Our top 3 iPhone apps for the week are something that will nourish the body and the mind. At number 3 is iTrain Virtual Fitness Trainer. It's perfect for anyone interested in general fitness, weight loss and muscle development. That is pretty much everybody. Now it's suitable for all fitness levels and includes easy instructions with animations. A simple progress tracker also lets you monitor your improvement. There are 200 exercises shown via 3D video animation with detailed descriptions and there are also 120 programs from 6 to 60 minutes in varied settings which allows for options that encourage consistency and motivation. This free app has been developed in conjunction with doctors, physiotherapists, fitness coaches, personal trainers and athletes. So you know it's probably good for you. At number 2 is Fishing Frenzy developed by Tintash. This free action packed fishing game comes with 12 full fledged levels. Now if you like flick fishing then you'll like this. The premise of the game is to win points and clear levels before the timer runs out. Pretty easy but it gets very hairy. Different fish will gain you different points. It's intuitive, colourful, engaging and light hearted. So if you've got a few minutes to spare you can't go wrong with this. At number 1, we have iMe Mobile. Released this month, it's an application that allows you to enjoy your music library wherever you roam. You can stream free music from your favourite artists and personalise your radio selection on your iPhone or iPod Touch. There's an artist radio which allows you to search for your favourite artists and listen to artist stations filled with music from that artist or similar ones. The My Music feature streams your own personal music library that you have uploaded onto the server, which brings me to what I feel is the best feature, Cloud Storage. No more problems with storage space if everything is through the web. The feature stations offer music based on your listening taste. Think Last.fm or Pandora. Finally, it's easy to buy a song you like directly from iTunes with just a few clicks. Well, what are some of the misses? Well, there's this one app you see here, Stick Wars. It's just slightly odd and I don't understand why it's been climbing up the charts. While it's fast-paced and action-packed, it only lasts a meager two levels. Well, it's free. Next, basically what happens is that you are defending some wall from hordes of barbaric stickmen. Now you can tap, flick and shake your way to victory by killing dragons and such. Um, that's about it really, while the blood level is a definite plus, it sort of boggles the mind why this game is popular. In at number 3 is the Company of Heroes Anthology. What's in it? Well first there's Company of Heroes from the developers of Warhammer 40k Dawn of War. It's a real-time strategy game that drops you into the fray of World War II Europe. From the bloody beaches of Omaha to the deadly firefights of the Bokag, you attempt to lead your troops to victory one battle at a time. Also in the anthology are two other standalones, Opposing Fronts and Tales of Valor. The Opposing Fronts expansion introduces two new factions, the British Army 2nd Army and the German Panzer Elite, each with its own command tree. Tales of Valor contains three new single-player campaigns, Tiger Ace, Causeway and Fly Pocket. In addition, a new gameplay feature called Direct Fire becomes available to the player allowing him to tell his troops exactly when and on what to fire on. At number 2 is Tom Clancy's Hawks, or High Altitude Warfare Experimental Squadron for the Xbox 360. It's an aerial warfare video game developed by Ubisoft. The story of the game takes place during the time of Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. The game revolves around former US Air Force pilot David Crenshaw, a part of the Hawk Squad as he, with the help of his men, tried to prevent a full-scale terrorist attack on the United States. The game features an enhanced reality system which can include radars, incoming missile detection, an anti-crash system, damage control system, tactical map, information relay, weapons trajectory control, and the ability to give comments to an AI squadron. And what's taking top spot in Challenger the past week? None other than the very popular Sims 3. Sims 3 is an upcoming strategic live simulation video game in the popular and critically acclaimed Sims franchise. 
Heroes. The collector's edition comes with a free sports car download, a sticker sheet, and a 2GB plumb bob shaped USB drive. Now, in contrast to the previous versions, the houses and neighborhoods will be seamless, allowing players to explore and interact with their neighborhood without loading time. Of the eight needs of The Sims 1 and 2, only six, which are hunger, bladder, energy, social, hygiene, and fun, will remain, removing comfort and environment. These will be represented by moodlets, attributes which are acquired special events, such as minor events like toothbrushing and major ones like wedding, which will affect The Sims' behavior. Several minor features from the Sims 2 expansion packs appear in the original The Sims 3, such as young adult life stage and mobile phones. Check out their website for more information.